I get to upgrade my 720p webcam to 1080p one, and I have faster performance and everything else that I need to make my YouTube videos even better. Oh, never mind. Everybody do the flop. So that one sentence kind of sums up the Apple event. So why not waste no time and just go over it? The first thing we have to discuss is AirPods third generation. They have new AirPods. And of course, I'm going to be talking about only the main highlights of this uh, entire presentation. So yeah, AirPods third generation. We have an AirPods 3 finally, which is something I've been asking since last month's Apple event. I don't know why they didn't announce it there, but you know. At least we have AirPods 3 for a reasonable price, which is one that we can save for something else. Next up, something completely unnecessary, new colors for HomePod Mini. So now you can waste five times more money, so that way you can tell the kids, lunch is ready, and then the, AirPod will re the HomePod will respond, lunch is ready. So that means automatically the HomePods with colors are going to start at the same price as the original HomePod. So yeah, there's that. Now it's time for the big gun announcements. First we have to talk, before we get to this one thing, uh, we have to talk about the new M1 processors, the M1 Pro and Max. Now I will say, these things are beasts. They have like intensive graphical and uh, C CPU and GPU power, and you know, 64 gigabytes of unified memory on, uh, on both of them is absolutely insane um, but you know obviously like all this performance is gonna come at a price but you know I thought it wouldn't be too bad because you know I thought that Apple is all about like like uh, how do I say this without making Apple sheeps angry uh, it's all about having the things that will make your life so much easier in, an, in a reasonable price well, Apple said, screw that, and introduced fantastic uh, MacBook Pros that are bogged down by their prices. Now, I will say this. The new MacBook Pros, the 14-inch and 16-inch, are so damn good. They have a brand new design. The ports are back, given. And, you know, they have a 1080p webcam, which I mentioned earlier. And they also have the M1.1 Max already built in them which is so damn good like these things are beasts like I think you can uh, download like over 40 streams in 4k quality and over 7 and 8k quality like it just goes and judging by the length of streams it just shows you how how like uh, graphically intense these beasts are but then the price comes in. A starting price of $2,000 for the 14 inch model and a starting price of $2,500 for the 16 inch model. Now, I wouldn't be against this if, you know, they offered much, much, much more. Like these are like the ultimate pieces that they have at 2PM 2.0 along with all these other features and the secure boots and they do not have like lag and everything else like that. And that would justify their price tags for something else. But I would have priced, I would have done the starting price of these devices at around, maybe for the 14 inch, it could be at around 1,500 and the starting price of the, of the 16 inch, uh, 16 inch model could be the starting price of the 14 inch model, so that being $2,000. Because you know, I'm trying to uh, lower these prices in Apple's standards. So don't say like, because if I were to lower down the prices, I would lower them down to how they were with the standard M1 uh, MacBook Pro, like you know, the starting price of the 14 inch is 1,200, and you know, 16 inch being 1,500. Um, but you know, I'm trying to think outside the box here and think. Like, what would Apple's price standards really be like, in my perspective? But, you know, that's not good enough for Apple, because they want 
your money. They want your cash. They're always gonna want your cash. They will live and die based on your money. So that's the Apple event, and I will say, I'm doing a great job by making my videos like five, six minutes long. If this video turns out to be that length, but if it's longer, uh, but if it's less than ten minutes, then good thing I'm not one of those YouTubers who wants to uh, say. I'm really excited, I'm really excited for 10 minutes straight just to say, YES! I can finally pay for my 10th Switch this month! So, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, stay cool, and don't believe in Tim Cook. And don't read too many books.